Hey guys, it's Antis, and we're back in Red Dead Online Beta. As you can see here, we got a little group going, and we're all fishing. Um, I got Sylvances in here from uh, the GTA videos, as well as Taco from a lot of the Minecraft stuff. Um, I'll put some links down to their channels in the description below in case you want to check out any Red Dead content that they have. We were here fishing, though, and we were having a conversation about what the economy changes were. Uh, and it seems like a lot of people don't know everything that got changed. Um, I personally haven't seen any patch notes. I've just read through tons and tons of comments as well as firsthand what I've noticed. Um, and so I've taken several notes and I've been able to compile a little list. And I wanted to kind of talk about it here in this video and just kind of tell you guys some of the economy ch changes. That way you know what has been changed. So I'm probably going to mispronounce some of these. Um, so just bear with me. Uh, but this is going to be a list of pelt skins and furs that have been reduced, so they no longer sell for as well as they did before. Uh, and that's going to be deer, buck, beaver, armadillos, uh, turtles, snakes, cougars, rabbits, skunk, raccoon, wolf, panther, fox, coyotes, pig, sheep, um, cattle, uh, rams, goats, proghorn, uh, peck henry, chipmunks, bull, boar, badgers, rats and muskrats um, those have all been reduced in, in uh, how much they sell for as far as pelt skins and furs go now the carcasses have been reduced for almost all small animals um, all the non exotic birds all small and medium fish and all livestock have been reduced um, cougars wolves and deers have been reduced and that's just because they're so easy to farm for carcasses that they they, they stopped us from being able to do that um, bucks and proghorn carcasses have actually been raised in value, and exotic birds also have been raised in value. And all animal parts, such as the feathers from the birds or um, animal fat, they've all reduced in their cell value. Um, there are some wildlife where the skins and the carcasses and all that didn't change. Um, that would be iguanas, gila monsters, elk, black bear, alligator, ox, bison, and moose. The grizzly bears have actually raised in their value, but it's only a 5% increase. And panthers do have an overall increase in value, but I have honestly not seen one online yet. Um, I don't know if maybe I'm just not hanging out in the right areas, but I really I have not seen any panther online. And it's really bad news for the fishing people, like myself. Um, pretty much every fish has been reduced in value. Um, all the small fish such as a bluegill, the pickerels, uh, chain and redfin, the perch, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, rock uh, bass, sockeye salmon, steelhead trout, and channel catfish, they have all um, been reduced in value and most small fish only sell for one dollar a piece. Um, there are a few fish who did not lose any value but those are the big fish, those are the muskies, the lake sturgeon, the northern pike, the long nose gar, um, and the only fish that has a small increase in value is the bull catfish. Stranger missions have increased by 15%, which is a considerable amount given the percentage changes for everything else, except for guns. Obviously, guns have a huge difference. Um, gold missions pay more, but if you have already beaten those missions, you're no longer going to be getting a payout for them, so that's very disappointing. Um, showdowns give about 10% extra, but they're kind of a disappointment because you still have to pay for your own ammo. Uh, all weapons have been reduced, obviously. Uh, anywhere between 25 to up to 40%, I think, was the biggest. Uh, regular ammo actually costs less, but the varmint rifle ammo went up in price, as well as all special type ammos have all been raised. There were no actual adjustments made to any of the clothing prices or random equipment like buying binoculars or a fishing rod. Um, all the gun belts and the holsters, they were not adjusted. No provisions were adjusted. Uh, a big disappointment thing is that gun oil is now more expensive and it's harder to find in free roam. There were a few spots where I was lobby hopping to just build it back up anytime I needed it and the gun oil is no longer there. There's been no change in the price for horses or saddles. Um, horse revivers are now cheaper, which is good because I have the worst horse ever that constantly dies. Um, horse recipes are now more expensive and it seems like they've been nerfed that they don't do as much. 
um, at least a lot of people are reporting. I personally haven't noticed too much, but I don't really use them before or after uh, the economy changed that uh, too often enough to really know. Um, as far as fishing goes, people who are who are big fans of the fishing, like myself and some of my friends, um, as well as I know, there's a lot of people online. I've seen a few YouTube videos for fishing locations that I've that I've watched, so. I know there are a lot of fishing fans out there, and to be honest, I would say that if you do not already own a fishing pole, and you don't already own the lures, it's kind of a waste of your time if it's not something that you know you're going to enjoy. If you're too low of a level, if you're not at least level 30 where you only have to pay the $2 for a lure, don't waste your gold on it, because overall, fishing has gone down, the value of fish has gone down by an average of 55% um, over all the fish. So it's kind of a disappointment for that. I still personally am doing a lot of fishing, um, and I'm making good hauls, but it's taken quite a while. The lake where I am in this video, um, I was able to get like 40 fish in maybe anywhere from a half hour to an hour, and then I was able to sell those all for about a dollar a piece. And then you make sure that you grab a muskie before you leave, and you get, you know, eight bucks or something out of the muskie. So, I mean, you get a decent amount of money if you're just kind of sitting back and chilling with your friends and talking, which is what I was doing. But if you're really wanting to grind money, you're better off just doing the missions because they have had an increase in pay. Um, and unfortunately, you got to be good at that in order to get that money because, you know, obviously if you win, you get a really good chunk of money in a, in a lot faster of a rate. But if you're just an average person or a casual player, then, you know, maybe stick with fishing or hunting. Um, I'll try to get some money guides out this week. I'm going to be working on some money guides uh, for some of the techniques I use to build up money pretty quickly. Um, but anyways guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what changes were made in the economy. I know I didn't go into specific guns or anything. I just wanted to give you guys some general information just so you had a bit of an idea. So as always, if you found the video useful, then feel free to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and you know, let me know if I, if I messed anything up. Let me know if any other economy changes I may have missed out on or anything that you have seen that you really haven't, uh, you know, that I, that I didn't mention at all. Um, and as always, if you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption uh, content. I have been making a lot of guides for the story mode, and I'm going to start pulling in, like I said, I'm going to start doing some money guides this week for uh, online. So, all right, guys, that's going to do it, though, and I will see you guys next time.